sighing if the branches soothe me, and may all thoughts of chaos fade. nearly there. Peace, Frick. It will do us no good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Sutur has our son, fair Balder, fallen to treachery. Does that mean anything to you? It does. Sutur will pay a heavy price for it. We do not serve our cause by reckless haste. The tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose, and I would know the web he weaves before I'm caught in it. So speaks one who never nursed our babe at the breast, nor held him as he slept. You were warming your wife's bed while I nurtured your son. You were only too keen to send him to my care, and Freyus, when the call of adventure became too great to resist. Now dampen your heart fire. Captive he may be, there's nothing in the Nine Realms that can harm Valda. There is one thing. Pick up your heels. Baldur was mighty to be captured by force. I sent Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to confess. That is why he waits in fetters for our return. Chained by my own... I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. 
May he rest in peace. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Randvi, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. Now, this one, this one begins a long time ago. Eivor, I'll to get... I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. Take my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at the house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Hey there! How are you?
sweat and toil to reach this moment. The ancient ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. Discard all that. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones.
This must be the house of their timid guard. They built him a rich dwelling.
Treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you have come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas... I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England. Before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. God called Aelfus to sit beside him. And Aelfus answered, his body gone to earth, and his sister. He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. Show me. A gentle wash brings them closer to their guard. Their guard brings them light, just as Baldur does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration.
the women came with hoverings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide. For I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke is a member of the Order as well. Hmm. The wolves biting at my skirts grow craftier by the day. How much do you know of this Order? 
Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive. Nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun. Before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. If I made it easy for them, they might even return Sigurd to me. I would return him to you myself. If I knew where they were holding him. But Fulke's treachery has blindsided me as well. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Evil, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. Yeah. 
Winchester wounds a good bishop and a strong, virile man. I'll wear your guts as a hat! Give me Alfred's jewel, you damn devil! We have already paid for it! That Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting us. Goodman gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown in the fire. Goodman covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison.
thick walls and thicker guns. A place to keep a valuable man. Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. Evidence against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin?
A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite reed. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun-groper. One calls himself the Quill. Our words, his weapons. There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. 